Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're looking at thoracic mobility part two and menopause. In our part one thoracic mobility and menopause video, uh, we looked at the telescope, the mini telescope arms or the alligator head here exercise where we were just starting to look at these diagonal slings in the anterior and posterior uh, body and also the, the mobilization of the rib cage and letting the rest of the body kind of play along with that. Now, for every population, it's important to have a lot of thoracic mobility. Um, but especially in menopause, because we seem to, to have some anxiety with menopause and we seem to lock down and grip and try to stabilize for dear life. If the thoracic spine is very locked up and we're not getting a lot of movement in that area, guess what takes the brunt of it? The pelvis and the hip sockets and the sacrum. And we get lots of complaints about that during menopause. So a good strategy is to start up here and see what happens in the pelvis afterwards. All right, so we started Casey in the previous, previous video with that telescope arm. Now, the second part of this is to go into the mini pinwheel. So she's gonna place her fingertips, let's place your fingertips up onto your shoulders, but you could also put it behind your head. So from here on the inhale, she's gonna start to bring the elbow forward above her head allow herself to roll back onto her heavy bowling ball head. And I've built the floor up a little bit here. Good, and then she's gonna bring her elbow all the way to her hip. Let her head rock into the pillow. Good, and come back to the beginning position. And you can see this is a simple movement, but it's combining all of the natural movements of the spine and allowing the shoulder girdle and the arm movement to play along with that, as well as this easy shifting of the pelvis and leg if you let it happen. So here we have rotation extension, that easy roll back forward, and then that flexion here as she goes into a little bit of rotation. Nice, and then we can look at the same things that we looked with the, at, with the telescope arms. So as she goes here on the diagonal, I'm just gonna have her hold here, right? And she's thinking about reaching the elbow away from her hip, and she's doing a beautiful job on this side, really filling in this space. And then the arm can go up and over the head. We're rolling the rib cage back to bring the arm with it. And again, trying to find this fullness. And then of course you can change directions and you should change directions because <laughs> just like the different sides of our body, the different directions of rotation, it's gonna be one side or one direction is gonna feel much easier than the other. And this is also talking to the twist of your connective tissue. So we wanna kind of mix it up and move in different ways. All right, so now we're gonna go into a bigger messaging of this um, into the, the kind of lengthening of our fascial sling system. So Casey's gonna reach out onto the, the distance there to the corner with her top arm, letting her head fall into the pillow. And then I want her to bring this leg back a little bit. Now she's gonna keep the knee bent and she can also keep this front arm bent a little bit. In the full expression of this, she would really be reaching long through the limbs of the arm and the leg. And I want her here to really start to think, because we're adding a little bit more stretch, a little bit more challenge to her connective tissue, and she's opening up this whole line of her internal oblique. I mean, there's a lot more going on here, but in general, I'm gonna be focusing on this internal oblique line. Good, and then what I want to happen is for her to come back into like a, a fetal position. So it's like her side bending abdominal exercise here. Good, and now you can bring that hand onto your shoulder and start to go back into messaging more of the external obliques. And again, in the full expression of this, you would have a long leg and long arm reaching out. But for a lot of clients, that's just too big of a range of motion. So we're just gently messaging it here. Good, and then you can bring the arm up and then go back into your little side bending abdominal curl and then go back into that internal oblique messaging that. 
good, really trying to create as much length, equal length on all sides. And we'll just look at one more where she messages that external oblique. And I really want her to feel an easy roll in the arm bone. Good, and reaching out a little bit longer, trying to really fill out this top waist. And then gently come back to center, easy, easy roll of the arm bone, trying to really ease the shoulder as you come back into center. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. See you next time, and never stop learning.